New Future Films by Alejandro González Iñárritu, Florian Zella, Noah Baumbach, Luca Guadagnino, Darren Aronofsky, and Joanna Hogg will premiere in Venice. Among the stars attending the Italian festival are Timothée Chalamet, Anna de Armas, Hugh Jackman, Laura Dern, Adam Driver, Greta Gerwig, Tilda Swinton, Brendan Fraser, and Kate Blanchett. White Noise, an adaptation of Don DeLillo's 1985 novel, is Noah Baumbach's Netflix film that will open the 79th Venice Film Festival. Starring Adam Driver and Greta Gerwig, it will be Baumbach's return to the Lido three years after he premiered his Oscar-winning marriage story there. Another three complete the poker of films that Netflix will present this year at the Lido. Blunt, by New Zealand director Andrew Dominic, starring Anna de Armas, narrates a fictional chronicle of the inner life of Marilyn Monroe. Bardo, falsa crónica de unas cuantas verdades, by Alejandro González Iñárritu, the first Mexican film since Amores Perros, his first future film in year 2000, narrates the intimate and moving journey of Silverio, a renowned Mexican journalist and documentary filmmaker based in Los Angeles, who is forced to return to his native country, a journey that will take him to an existential limit. And Athena, by Romain Gavras, son of Costa Gavras, which tells the story of Abdel, who after returning from the front for the murder of his brother, he will be first to fight to calm the growing tensions of his other brothers. Florian Zeller's The Sun, starring Hugh Jackman, Laura Dern, Vanessa Kirby and Anthony Hopkins, will premiere in Venice and is the sequel to the Oscar-winning drama The Father, and like it, is an adaptation of his own play in French. Venice's favorite Luca Guadagnino returns to the Lido with Bones and All, a film set in the United States starring Taylor Russell as Marin, a young woman who lives in the merchants of society and falls in love with Lee, a homeless played by Timothée Chalamet, who was nominated for an Oscar for Call Me By Your Name by the same director. Darren Aronofsky's The Whale will also premiere in competition, marking his return to the Lido after 2017's Mother and the Wrestler, for which he won the Golden Lion in 2008. The Whale, starring Sadie Sink, Brendan Fraser and Samantha Morton, tells the story of an English teacher who suffers from obesity and tries to reconnect with his teenage daughter. British author Joanna Hogg will present The Eternal Daughter, starring Tilda Swinton. The same goes for The Banshees of Inisuring, starring Colin Farrell, and directed by 2017 Venice Golden Lion winner Martin McDonagh, with three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. <laughs> The French film Les Enfants de Sotre, by director Rebecca Slotowski, starring Virginia Fira, plays a childless woman who establishes a deep bond with her boyfriend's young daughter. French director Roche Dissem, also known for chocolate, will present Le Mien, the story of the accident that leaves Musa with a brain injury that makes him speak without a filter. Italian director Andrea Pagliaoro, whose 2017 Hannah, starring Charlotte Rampling, was part of the Venice competition, returns with Monica, his English-language debut, starring Trace Lisette as a woman who returns home to care for her dying mother. Patricia Clarkson, Adriana Barraza and Emily Browning complete the cast. Italy will also be represented by Susanna Nicchiarelli's Chiara, which tells the story of a young teenager who, after joining forces with her friend Francesco, frees herself from the bonds of her family, even going so far as to confront the Pope himself. No Beers, the film shot in secret by the Iranian director Jafar Panahi, banned in his country, will be part of the official competition, as will Beyond the Wall, a drama by the Iranian director Bahil Jalilvant. The documentary All the Beauty and the Bloodshed by Laura Poitras attracts attention as a non-fiction film in the official competition, while Un Couple, a French film by acclaimed documentary filmmaker Frédéric Wiesemann, will also premiere in the program. Other titles in competition include Todd Field's Tar, starring Kate Blanchett, Saint Omer, a French film directed by Alice Diop, and Koji Fukada's Love Life. Il Signore delle Formiche, 
by Italian director Gianni Amelio, a portrait of Italian poet, playwright, and director Aldo Braibanti, imprisoned in 1968 under a fascist era law that criminalized gay activity, the drama La Immensità by Emanuel Crialese, starring Penelope Cruz, and the political period work Argentina 1985 by Santiago Mitre. 